Hi, third grade, it's Mrs. Parsons. I hope you had a great week and really enjoyed that Keith Herring project that we just finished. If you have any pictures of them, I would love to see them. I don't get to see your finished projects right now, so if you could send an email, send it in an email to me or have mom or dad or your adult help you email me a picture of it, I would love to see it because I'm dying to see what you guys have been working on. And this week we are going to start something new. We're gonna be making these, I think they're fall trees after all of the leaves have fallen off. We're gonna get started on this. Now the coloring is gonna take us a while because you can see we're doing a lot of shading where we're going from one color into another. Don't get too worried about that yet. I'm gonna show you an easy way to do it. But to start, we need to work on making this tree so that we have all of the spots to put the color in. So for right now, what I need you to do is grab a piece of white paper that should come in that packet of supplies you picked up at school a couple weeks ago. You're gonna need a pencil and you're gonna need a black marker. If you have a Sharpie, Sharpies are always the best black marker. Just make sure that your adult is okay with you using a Sharpie because sometimes we don't wanna use them at home. If you can't use a Sharpie, just grab any black marker we're going to want a marker because we're going to be coloring. So we don't want a pen that's going to be too thin and you're going to be coloring forever. So a black marker, pencil, and that white paper. And I'll show you how we're going to get started. So third grade, you can see on the tree, we're doing what I would call the shadow of the tree. We're not getting into detail on the branches. We're just making the shadow of each branch. That's what we're going to focus on today, making this tree and making these branches. Don't worry about the coloring yet. Just worry about the tree. You're gonna to wanna to hold your paper up and down like an ice cream cone, so vertical. We're not holding it horizontal like a banana split. We wanna hold it vertical like an ice cream cone. And with your pencil, we're gonna come down to the bottom at about this center. And we're gonna start with our line. It starts, you can see I'm not all the way over at the edge. I'm in a decent amount, probably about an eraser's length. Take my line and it curves in just a little bit. Then it goes up to about halfway up the paper. That would be about halfway. Then I'm gonna take it and it's gonna go back over to the edge. This is gonna be one of the branches. And you can see on here, this would be that branch from this side of the tree. Then I'm gonna go over to the other side and it's gonna do the exact same thing. It's gonna come, curve in, go up, and then go over to the side. That's gonna be this branch, that side right there. And you can see, these two branches do not look identical. Just think about the trees outside. One half doesn't look exactly like the other half. A tree is not symmetrical. Both sides are not the same, so don't worry about yours being the same because trees aren't. Now I'm gonna start about the center of my tree here and I wanna make this branch. So I'm gonna go up a little bit. I don't wanna make it too skinny to start because as a branch goes out, it gets skinnier. I don't wanna make it too super fat because I wanna have room for lots of branches up here too. So kind of find somewhere in the middle and it's just gonna follow along. And you can see it gets skinnier as it goes out. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. And I have this open space in the middle. What I'm gonna do there is draw two lines that go up to make a third branch. These are gonna be our larger branches. Everything else that we draw now is gonna be smaller and kind of come off of these. So just like we do at the tree trunk where it starts out and curves in, branches do the same thing. They start out and then curve in and get skinnier. So I'm gonna do one here. That's like, a, these would be our large branches. Now I'm gonna do some medium branches, maybe one or two. You're not gonna have a lot of room for medium branches. Take one up here. That's gonna be a small branch. And you wanna try and have the branches always either touch the edge of the paper or connect to another branch. Because we need them to connect or go off the edge of the paper so that it makes these sections that we're gonna be coloring in later. So just go ahead and start drawing branches. 
all different directions. Again, making sure that they either connect to another branch or go off the edge of the paper. You don't want the sections to be super big, like this is way too big. I would not go any smaller than this though either, because we need to be able to get the colors in there. So not too big, not too small. And think about the trees outside. The branches go all different directions. So yours should also go all different directions. Some up, some to the side, some more curvy than others. And I think I'm gonna add one more in here. And that's about it. So you're not adding a whole lot of branches. You just wanna make sure you have sections that aren't too big. This section's getting a little bit too big, but I'm afraid if I put another branch in there, it might be too small. So now that I have my branches set up, the next step is to take your Sharpie or your black marker, whichever you're using, and just start tracing all your pencil lines. Once you have all the pencil lines traced, just like when we're in school, it's a good idea to take an eraser and just erase those pencil lines that are still peeking out. Just erase them, just make things nice and neat before we go on to our next step. Don't worry about the ones that we're gonna color over. Worry more about the ones that are sticking out. I'm sorry, the ones that we're gonna color over with the black marker. Worry about the ones that are sticking out in the areas that we're gonna go over with crayon in. So I think I got most of them, if not all of them now. The next step is to take that black marker again and just start coloring your branches in, color in the trunk, color every spot with your black marker, the same marker that you used to trace them so that it looks like a shadow. Take your time, fill the shadow in. And you can see I'm trying to, I'm coloring all in one direction, but I'm also trying to go with the direction of the branches. It makes it a little bit easier to stay in the lines that way. And it also just looks so much neater more clean, nice and crisp. So color in one direction and try and color in the direction that the branch is going. And it's easier to do smaller sections at a time than to try and color one whole branch, especially these big branches at a time. So keep coloring those branches in and that'll be it for this third grade. By the end of art class today, by the end of your art time, you should have that shadow of a tree completely drawn and you should have it completely filled in with the black marker so that we have that nice shadow. Again, there should be no color on the paper yet. It should just be the black shadow of the tree with all the branches. We will get into the color next week, whether you have live art or not live, we will work on the color next week. So don't worry about that, just worry about the shadow. Have fun with your tree, and if you get stuck, look outside. There's plenty of trees that are losing their leaves right now, and I'm sure they'll be able to give you some inspiration on those branches. Have a lot of fun with this, and I will see you next week when we'll get started on the next step. Thanks guys, see you next week. Bye third grade.